Lots more on Daily Planet today. Pictures that look good enough to eat. Wait a minute, you actually can eat these? Koalas, adorable, yes, but also dwindling in numbers until now. And zip ties, check. Spiky panels, check. The weirdest looking suit of armor ever, check. Today we are putting the tone in acetone with my good friend Jeffrey Vinegar from UCLA, the dancing scientist. You got it. Come on, give us a little beat. A little one, okay. Zoom. Yeah, that's right, I'm the tone deaf one. <laughs> okay, so let's go. We've got some styrofoam, right. we've got some cups here, we've got basically what smells like nail polish remover. It is, so in here we have acetone, the main component in nail polish remover, and regular styrofoam. Now, a lot of people don't know this, but if you were to take some of it in Ooh here, it Whoa. just dissolves in it. Okay, so uh, dissolves so quickly. So talk to us about what this is made of and what's going on there. So styrofoam is made from polystyrene, which is a plastic, mm. but this is actually 98% air and 2% plastic. 2% plastic, so how much of that is, what's going on in there then? So it dissolves, we're separating the air bubbles. So if you look really, really close, at this, there's lots of little tiny bubbles. Right. Nice. Oh, that is so much fun. And those bubbles are puffed up polystyrene. So there's lots of air, and it slightly dissolves in acetone, becomes soft. What does the acetone do to it? Uh, it basically dissolves it like a solvent. So like right. things dissolve in other materials and like salt dissolves in water. I have to tell you guys, when Same I'm thing. holding this, it feels like it's almost bubbling in my fingers. It is the weirdest feeling. Okay, so um, we've got bigger pieces here. Yes, I guess all right, let's try. race. I have a big piece here. This is just uh, styrofoam packaging. Can I join you in this? Yes, three, two, one, don't splash it, okay. go. Ah, it's bubbling! Oh, it's ah. sinking! <laughs> You're cheating! Oh, what do you mean I'm cheating? How am I cheating? I'm doing uh, exactly the same thing that you are. This is incredible. Amazing, wow, right? That took about 10 seconds, up. and it's all gone. Now, okay, so how good or bad or crazily toxic is this, what we're doing? Well, polystyrene, uh, it's, it is recycled, but it's not good for the environment. It's made from oil. Uh, there's actually another alternative developed in the 1990s. Okay. So I have some packing peanuts over here, but these, they're not made from polystyrene. They're not made from oil. They're made from starch, which is a plant material. And this, it will not dissolve in acetone. Okay, but, but that will biodegrade instead. It gets better. It dissolves in water. So when you're done with these, you can actually dissolve them in water. So the one in my hand oh, that's just genius. completely falls apart. Oh, I like love so. that. That one is so much better. Now, what about this then? This goopy remnant that I'm left with here, Jeff. What is this? That is polystyrene. It's like a putty plastic. It's all over your hands like that. It looks like shampoo, huh? You could actually, so if you had a mold, like, like a silicone mold, you, you can, can actually pour that into the mold. So it's a little like a home to do experiment. Well, yeah. don't, don't do it, but you could do it where you can pour that into a mold, let it dry, and it's gonna become solid again because the acetone uh, can evaporate. So theoretically, I could take some of this some of this material, I could recycle it and mold it into something new again. You could, but the best option is to uh, not use styrofoam. And if of you're course. doing using packing peanuts, use uh, these guys here, yes. the biodegradable ones. So, uh, you know, this stuff, a lot of people say, is this recycling? And the answer is no, not really. Right. Even though it takes up less space, uh, it's still not going anywhere for many, many, uh, many years. Yes. So uh, not so good. Yes, absolutely. But well, thank you so very much. Let's shake hands. There we go. <laughs> no, 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 not with that one. Okay. Here. <laughs> <laughs>
Now, while we're on the subject of cameras, the social picture network Instagram has given us countless images of eye candy that look good enough to eat. We'll bust out the napkin because a new service called Boomf actually makes that happen. The UK company takes your favorite Instagram pics and converts them to tasty marshmallow treats. Connect Boomf to your Instagram account and select up to nine of your favorite shots. Then within two weeks, your edible images are delivered to your door in all their vanilla flavored glory. And just in time for the holidays. Thanks, Lucas. Okay, coming up. Bring in the bomb technicians. Extreme training to keep an explosive situation from becoming deadly. You'll see some damage. That's when we come back.